Hello everyone, good to have you back on the Moon Challenge. We start today with a picture sent to us by Sagar Gokhale, a beautiful panorama of the city of Mumbai as seen from his window. He has titled this the moods of the day as he has tried to capture the sky during the whole day in the morning, afternoon, evening and at night. And of course it features the day for moon with Venus there. A lovely picture. We welcome you to send your pictures as well and you can share them with us. You can either email them to sipop at gmail.com or you can just share them online with the hashtag moon challenge. It will be lovely to see what you are seeing from your place. Let's see now what the day 5 crescent moon looked like. We are sorry uh, about the delay in this episode because of a technical challenge. You are not going to be able to see me today but I am sure you prefer to see the face of the moon than mine. Anirudh has shared a picture again of his setup from his rooftop. Remember we are all doing it from our homes, from our windows, from our rooftops, from just outside uh, our doorstep and in this he uh, has shown me how his telescope setup looks like with uh, the camera attached to it and it pointing to the moon. And he has captured a really breathtaking picture for us. So this is how the crescent moon looked through the telescope. It's a beautiful crescent again with a uh, few things that we recognize and a lot of other features, ragged features coming up into the view. You must remember yesterday we saw the crater Langrenus and the Mare, the sea as such or called Mare Crisium. On this day we are able to see the sea of fertility or Mare Fecunditatis completely. You may realize that over the days as the crescent grows in size the features closer to the edge would grow less contrasty and the ones here at the edge of the shadows and light with the shadows there they are better resolved better seen and in fact we can uh, we should study these areas in particular so yes we have new features visible two lovely craters here one is called atlas atlas uh, as you may know is the mythological figure which uh, in greek mythology uh, is a is a very very giant person who holds up the whole sky the story goes that this giant uh, and proud atlas was humbled by the small sized hercules and so this story is immortalized here on the moon with these two features here to these two craters the bigger one is atlas and the smaller one is hercules we also have uh, another sea becoming visible it's the sea of nectar mare nectaris uh, it's more to the south and we'll talk more about it tomorrow the Mare Australi, as you can see in this picture, is the sea towards the south side of the moon. Now this, is, this was not visible yesterday because uh, of course we didn't capture it uh, in our camera and the crescent was probably not lit up till there. But uh, let's today look a bit in detail at the south side. Now the south side also has a lovely feature called Janssen. This is a crater named after the famous scientist Janssen. If you zoom in here and cut us this picture by Anirudh, we can then see the south side of the moon. This is in the sky, also the south side for us. So uh, please remember this image has been flipped over and the, you would see the crescent the other way when you see it in the sky. With the telescope it gets flipped over. However, this side of the south of the moon would be pointing towards the south of the earth as well in the sky. So just to get your bearings right. Of course, uh, on this side, when you look at the detailed picture, you can see this lovely feature called Janssen. It is actually a multiple crater feature. So Janssen is actually the bigger crater. And then you can notice that there are other craters which are more recently formed, which are basically other impacts which happened on top of Janssen and there are so many pockmarks on there. 
this is lovely to see and this is this shows that uh, nothing is permanent even craters on the moon although they are there for millions of years uh, maybe this one could be even a billion years old maybe formed when the moon was just very young and then these are younger craters craters which formed much later with impacts which came in the more recent history you'll find uh, such things at other places as well you may also notice uh, overlapping craters like this again because of uh, the two equal impacts happening at different times on the moon so other than this beautiful Janssen there's also the crater Petavius which is more getting lost in the light now again it's it's very similar to Langrinus and has a small mountain uh, or a mountain range in between it so below that you can see the this is the crater Rita and underneath is a long ridge here this is a deep valley called the Rita Valley and it is next to the Rita crater so you do have features other than craters on the moon uh, like valleys and even mountains so we will show you some mountains as they become visible on this picture you can see the Mount Pyrenees or as in English we might call them the Pyrenees mountains these are mountains in Europe and uh, of course when people were discovering these they wanted to name the features on the moon similar to what they had seen on the earth so therefore you'll see several well-known names coming up as we progress in this challenge so hopefully in the next day's picture we'll be able to see this area better this is the Mare Nectaris the sea of nectar and there'll be several other uh, important areas coming into view there may even be some areas that you have heard of before so I'm looking forward to the next day and uh, also to get some good pictures to show you and share with you of course please remember we are doing the moon challenge together it's not just me doing it or my friends doing it it's all of us doing it together so don't forget to step out safely and look towards the moon uh, be careful about uh, not grouping together to uh, catch a glimpse but do it personally enjoy this moon challenge and share all your pictures your experiences with us with the hashtag moon challenge stay with us and we'll have more fun throughout the month